So different terminologies while you are preparing for data science or AI or machine learning, I think these terminologies are very important. Let's understand the terminology. This All these terminologies we will be learning uh, with applications, with projects, with uh, case studies and all that in our uh, real time, in our regular live classes. And apart from it, just these are like one liner definitions or in lines of our colleges or so. They are like short answer questions just to get a high level uh, understanding about each and everything. So now let's take our first terminology, artificial intelligence. What is artificial intelligence? The mission ability to make the right decisions. You can see this, the, the mission's ability to make the right decisions and perform tasks that are able to stimulate human intelligence and behavior. So what exactly artificial intelligence is? So whatever the human things are doing, instead of a human or instead of a human intelligence, we are creating an intelligence in an artificial way in order to perform it. In a, one of the very simple example is basically if you snap an image, the human intelligence going to edit it. But instead of a editing with a human intelligence, we are trying to edit it automatically by the artificial intelligence within the phones itself. That's what nowadays all the phones are coming up with that's what we see in filters and all that is AI and the next definition is what is machine learning so uh, a subset of AI that focuses on algorithms and allows machines to learn without being programmed and change when exposed to new data so in a very simple note machine learning is a sub branch of your artificial intelligence so basically in order to write an artificial intelligence you need to use a lot of program so but what exactly machine learning is doing without writing a huge amount of programming so with the help of mathematical equations you are able to build that logics and whenever you are feeding in new data automatically the rules are getting changed that's what we are calling it as machine learning so machine learning is a sub branch within AI. So what exactly machine learning is doing with the help of mathematical equations, when you feed new data inside it, it is able to perform new rules or logics or new intelligence. So without even writing a huge amount of program, that's what machine learning is. And next one is deep learning. So deep learning, a machine, deep learning is a machine learning technique inspired by the human neural system in which data is filtered through self adjusting networks. So in a very simple note, so deep learning is a sub branch of machine learning. So AI is the major thing and inside that you have a machine learning and within the machine learning you got the deep learning. So deep learning is inspired. So basically in a machine learning and deep learning both are mathematical equations itself. So but there are different mathematical equations in machine learning but the mathematical equations we have in deep learning are inspired by the way our brain neurons are working. So the way the brain neurons are working the, the, the researchers created a mathematical equation and with the help of mathematical equation we are able to mimic the performance of a brain neurons and if if if, uh, if i'm able to imbibe the performance of a brain neurons into a mathematical equation and if you are building some algorithms behind it some automations behind it we are calling it as deep learning so what is an examples of deep learning is for example now in our uh, phones we are able to perform dictation while i'm dictating it is able to create it as a text we are doing it with deep learning so in our uh, phones it is able to recognize whether i'm a male or a female or it is able to group it based on the faces and all that it is a deep learning so the filters you see in snapchat or in your instagram they are deep learning so uh, you are able to see uh, for example if you take uh, airports or so like we are able to see the noise cancellation and all this which is a concept of your deep learning so uh, face unlock in iphone it is a concept of your deep learning so uh, crash detection all this comes into your deep learning itself so and after that you have natural language processing the ability of a program to recognize human communication in its natural way we call it as NLP so what exactly NLP is so the ability of a program to recognize human communications in a natural way the example of NLP is like Siri or your Google assistants all this they are able to understand our 
human language so in order to pre-process our human language like english or whatever the languages we go with nlp natural language processing and the next one is computer vision so the the process of pulling inform important information from a single image or a set of images for classification and analysis so we call it as computer vision so computer vision is an application of deep learning by using deep learning algorithms we are able to perform computer vision so like in order to recognize the image or to recognize whether there is a cancer or not or in order to scan our lungs and to go for it or to recognize whether this person is wearing a face mask or not for all this you are able to go for computer vision and lastly artificial neural network so a learning model that is created to act like a human brain and solves the tasks that are too difficult for a traditional computer system to resolve so this uh, artificial neural networks are the one which is there inside deep learning so the entire deep learning is developed with the help of ANN so the ANNs artificial neural networks are the one the mathematical equations which mimics the real neural networks or the real neurons in the brain so by using this ANN you are trying to do computer vision by using this ANN you are doing a lot of deep learning algorithms we have it in order to recognize image to recognize audio to recognize video to remove the noise from the audio for all this we can go for this particular ANNs which are there inside deep learning so these are all the different terminologies we have in lines of your uh, particular uh, deep learning these are few terminologies we learn about more terminologies in our next video